morning as we begin to worship and adore our God, I request you to stand with us even as we worship him. Amen. He has been good to us. We are in the month of October and we can testify that from the beginning of the year, despite uh, things being tough, the Lord has been good. The Lord has been with us. The Lord has sustained us and we are excited about that. Amen. We are excited because he has been there for us. Amen. He has stood by our side and he has confirmed his word because his word says that he will never leave us nor forsake us. Though we go through the fire, we might go through the waters, we might go through the mud, but God is ever present with us and he never leaves us. And what a privilege, what an honor. And this is why this morning we are here to give him praise. We are here to worship him, to acknowledge what he has done for us. And just to acknowledge his lordship and his holiness, his sovereignty. Amen. Let's just bow our heads and pray this morning. Father, we thank you. We honor you, our God, because you are a good God. We give praise to your name because you alone deserve our praise this morning. We have come to say thank you for all that you have done for us. Thank you, O oh God, for standing by our side. Thank you, O oh God, for remaining faithful even when we were not faithful. Lord, we thank you and we acknowledge you because there is no other God that can be compared to you. Other gods come and go, but you remain the same. You are the only true and mighty God who never changes, O oh God. You are true from eternity to eternity. The Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the giver of life, the sustainer of lives. We worship you this morning. We say you alone receive the glory. You are the healer. You have been the healer in this year. You have protected us, O oh God. You have brought us this far because of your loving kindness. And we do not take anything for granted. But all we can say is thank you, God, for standing by our side, for seeing us through, for bringing us this far. Because you know each and everyone's heart's desire. Father, we thank you that even in this day as we remember what you have done for us we still believe that you are doing great and mighty things we open up our lives to you we open up our hearts to you we surrender all our our struggles to you and we sing have your way and take charge and take control father lord for those who still feel discouraged we pray that by your spirit oh god they may be lifted because you are the lifter of the broken you are the lifter of the broken you are the healer of the sick you are the healer of the sick you are the god of all creation you are the god of all nations you are the god of all tribe and race oh god we pray believing that you are god who is faithful you are making a way in the desert you are making a way where there seems to be no way you continue to heal the sick you continue oh god to mend the broken you continue oh god to sustain us oh god you continue oh god to teach us your ways you continue oh god to do what no man can do we thank you and we honor you because you are a great god and you are a mighty god thank you for your faithfulness thank you for your greatness may your name alone continue to rule and to reign in our lives and in this place oh god lord be exalted and be magnified thank you lord for your faithfulness we thank you we bless you it's in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed as everyone in the house says amen amen he is enthroned hallelujah amen
to worship him because of his amazing grace. Hallelujah. We give him glory. Worship Jesus. i 
situation declare and say I'm no longer a slave to fear I am a child of God I'm no longer I'm no longer a slave to fear I am a child I am a child I am a child Victorious cause I am a child of God. I am a child. I fear nothing cause I am a child of God. I am a child. Victory is mine cause I am a child of God. I am a child. Success is mine cause I am a child of God. A child, healing is mine because I am a child of God. Thank you for the authority, Jesus. I reign and rule in you, O God. I am victorious in you, O God. I am your child. What an honor, what a privilege to be called your own. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. I am a child of God. Thank you, Jesus, for the work of the cross, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We give the glory to Jesus. We are great. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord, Jesus. Yes, God.
in this place, Holy Spirit, we look in your presence. On your throne, the elders and the angels bow and declare your holiness. They sing, You are holy, you are holy, you are holy. Here on earth, as your children this morning, we join in with the elders and the heavens to declare your holiness because you are holy, you are holy. There is no God like you. There will never be a king like you. There will never be a Lord like you. There will never be a father like you. You are holy. You are holy. You are holy. Oh 
the healing power of Lord Jesus, Lord. Oh, we thank you, Father, even for, especially for our youths who are getting married these days, oh, Father, and who have already got married, Father, we speak blessing upon their marriages, Lord. Yes, Lord, as the world is struggling to stay in marriage, but Father, we especially pray for our youth who's getting married, that they will lead a godly life, they will lead a God of Father centered married life so your name can be glorified through our youth so Lord Jesus we pray for our children we pray for elderly people let your blessings be upon every one of us Lord Jesus we pray for our nation Zambia we pray Lord that you will bless us oh Lord and you will take us where you want us to reach as a nation of Zambia Lord Father thank you Lord for the joy thank you Lord for the peace thank you Lord for the blessing that you have so far brought upon our country continue blessing us Lord Jesus thank you Father, we pray for every single congregation of house of prayer. Bless us, Lord Jesus. Provide us, oh Father. Protect us, oh Father. Be with us, Lord, so that we'll be able to testify about your faithfulness upon our lives, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Lord. As we are going to sit at your feet, Lord Father, we pray that you will speak to us very clearly, Lord Jesus. And every soul, every heart will be ministered and we will go back rejoicing to our respective homes, Lord Jesus. We give you all the glory, all the praise, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen and amen. Please take your seat. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord and good morning, church. Praise the Lord. The Lord is good all the time. And that is His. I haven't heard the voice of our beloved people. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. May the Lord bless all of us this beautiful morning. Amen. Are we excited in the house of God this morning? Are we excited? If you are excited, can we put a round of applause to appreciate our God for this wonderful, blessed, beautiful Sunday morning? Can you look at your neighbor left to right, friend back? Just wave at him or her and say, my neighbor, blessed to see you this morning in the house of God. Amen. Hallelujah. It's an awesome Sunday morning. Can you imagine from the beginning of this year, the Lord has been gracious to us to see the last day and the last Sunday of October 2021. It is only through God's mercies. It is only through his loving kindness this morning we are here. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. As we welcome everyone let's acknowledge those who are visiting with us for the first time sit your first time to at a sunday service this house of prayer if anyone here would you please stand we would like to acknowledge and appreciate anyone here amen we have a mom our mom is a sister-in-law to our sister marie could say she's visiting us from south africa welcome welcome mom welcome i'm sure but roswad is bringing a visitor sleep amen thank you hallelujah we highly appreciate our visitors mom enjoy the presence of god as we you are here we are looking forward to fellowship with you again. And may the Lord bless. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Let's quickly look at our bulletin as we continue enjoying the presence of God. Our weekly activities continues. Please, our worship service, our intercession. Uh, every Saturday, 8 to 9, Sunday, 7.30 to 8.30. All those who are here, a church without intercessors will be a dry church. So we need a powerful intercessors to intercede. So we encourage all of you. There is no special calling of intercessors. All of us are called to intercede. Amen. So we're looking forward to see you on Saturday, 7.30, Sunday, 8 o'clock at the church. May the Lord bless you. Praise and worship practice, Saturday, 14 hours, and Sunday morning, 8 o'clock. So please, Miracle Night service. We have a Miracle Night. That's our midweek service every Wednesday at 18.15 hours at church. Please, let's not miss 
this covid has brought a very big danger into the heart of the people where we were so passionate about going to the sanctuary the devil throw a seed of look weariness is ah, now i can sit at home and watch tv and worship it is a, one of the devil's trick bible is very clear apostle has spoken very clearly it is a serious commandment gathering of the brethren to worship together fellowship together break the bread together also please let's make sure our midweek service and sunday service will be here and when you are here it makes a big difference rather than pastor is calling if you are friend so you know he's a part of the house of prayer family he or she's not been here for some time just to take a phone call brother sister even a visiting my brother my sister we missed you we are looking forward to see you so make sure we have done and all other weekly activities continue we also encourage our departmental heads to resume uh, so that we can plan and prepare god's will 2022 and we will be able to move in a full force may the lord bless you we have a, our marriage band this is the second marriage band the holy matrimony of jifa shema kutse and uh, villa taisia Nya Nambea will God willing be solemnized on 20th November 2021 in October if any of you have a biblical reason why these two should not be joined together in holy matrimony on 20th of November you have an opportunity to come and see me on till the 19th if after that anything god reveals you will hold our peace so may the lord bless you amen that's all the announcements and our youths are meeting they are remaining after the service pastor they are remaining amen anyone's birthday falls this week would you please stand if your birthday falls this week our brother jimmy our daughter, uh, young daughter there amen anyone those who are married and your wedding anniversary falls this week could you please stand anyone's wedding anniversary falls hallelujah let's pray and speak a blessing upon our people here father we are so grateful to you thank you lord for our brother thank you lord for our daughter whom you are adding one more new year into their life this week what a wonderful blessing they are not only to their home or their family but into the kingdom of god specifically to the house of prayer family lord we as you have added new year today our prayer may the heaven open the flood gates of heaven and you will bless them in this season to reign over every impossibility through christ jesus we declare oh god god's grace god's presence god's protection be upon the our brother and our daughter of god we prophesy many many blessed years let them come and testify the best year they have bless oh god in jesus mighty name we pray amen can we put our hands together and appreciate our dear ones at this moment we release the junior sunday school grade age 1 to 9 we use the down a uh, few more days to give us don't run into the upstairs uh, they have just to fix the tiles and still doing on so we encourage the teachers and the uh, children age 1 to 9 we release them amen may the children the other age group of the sunday school god willing soon once we finish all the building we will be back you will be back amen may the lord bless you may the lord bless you amen children and the teachers hallelujah at this moment i re- request the worship team for 5 10 minutes to come to the altar hallelujah worship team come to the altar thank you jesus thank you holy spirit church the primary purpose why we have come is to worship the lord and that is the main agenda that is the main purpose why as a church we are here and the battle 
that you and I cannot fight when you worship the heaven takes over and the battles are won we know even in the bible where they supposed to go and fight the war but when they worshiped the heaven released the angels best example very common example second chronicles chapter 20 where jehoshaphat organized the choir to worship and they surrender their life the lord sent a victory for the people of israel this morning as you have come we know there are battles we battle there are issues we go through challenges we go through all kind of things we go through but when we are worshiping the heaven takes over i am not specifically asking you to stand whatever gesture or posture if you would like to present before god if you are able to stand stand if you wanted to kneel down kneel down and sit sit you and close your eyes just the purpose of this is just a connecting to the throne of god hallelujah holy spirit thank you jesus lord thank you father lord we thank you Jesus we glorify you holy spirit we glorify you forget about everything don't look at anyone here don't look at anyone here lord look at anyone just close your eyes and focus towards the throne of god hallelujah oh we worship you the burden you have carried pour before god the sickness you have carried surrender to the lord and tell lord, i need a touch hallelujah Oh hallelujah maybe you left an issue at your home a sick person at your home a burden at your home you maybe you are worrying after the worship when i go i am going to address hallelujah the heaven tells when you worship the lord takes over everything hallelujah maybe on yesterday or friday you lo- you left him had a heavy load at your office Maybe you don't know how you are going to address it tomorrow as you step in your office or business premises hallelujah but the lord is there hallelujah a god who can have a thousand ways to answer our prayers a god who can turn impossibility into possibility a god who can just remove the darkness and send the light who is the light of the world he is right in the midst here he is right here enjoy the presence of god hallelujah ruda baba bar kal ka ramba prabal rudal ragales you may not may know you may not know on this morning but you can connect to the throne of god it is not about the song it is not about the music it is about how you connect your heart to the lord hallelujah connect 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 your heart to the throne of god hallelujah adura rabala gada ruda bara jagala gada rakha bara jagash adura bara jala gada raude dire ramana gada o blood of jesus 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 hamna pravara gada ruda bara jagala gada raude shakala raude dira rajala gada raude raude dire ramba baba bara jala gada rakha raba baba the issues you have kept surrendered to the lord hallelujah as i come into your the gates of praise to your sanctuary to a standing face to face i look upon your countenance i see the fullness of your grace i can only bow down and say
Sit down. 
your living, let your living waters flow over my soul. Let your Holy Spirit come and take control in every situation that has troubled my mind. A devastated that situation, a struggling area, hallelujah, the darkest hour. Oh, oh. Allow the word of God to flow. Allow the word of God to flow. People might have tried. Just might have tried. Oh, hallelujah. You might have tried. But today, this morning, the Lord says, My son, my daughter, I am releasing my word. I am releasing by the Holy Spirit. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, oh, Jesus, Holy Spirit, thank you. The restorations are taking place. Hmm. Hallelujah. I'm just hearing this voice to tell your people. Tell my son and daughter, restoration is taking place. Thank you. Thank you. Restoration is taking place. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. Thank you, Jesus, today. As we sit at your feet, you will speak to us. You will speak to us. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Please take your seat. Praise the Lord, church. Praise the Lord. Let's not miss the presence of Jesus. He's right here. Hallelujah. His grace is upon us. 
Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's turn to the book of Exodus. We will continue where we left last Sunday. The topic of the message, God who never abandons you. Look at your neighbor and say, my neighbor, it doesn't matter what you are going through. My God will not abandon you. Hallelujah. Just a simple three things last Sunday we looked at from the life of Esther. This morning we want to look a few things from the life of Moses. God who never abandons you. Exodus chapter 2, verses 1 to 10. Exodus 2, 1 to 10. Exodus chapter 2, verse 1 to 10 says, And now a man, the house of Levi, married a Levite woman, and she became pregnant and gave birth to a son. When she saw that he was a fine child, she hid him for three months, but when she could hid, hide him no longer, she got a papyrus basket for him and coated it with a tar and pitch. Then she placed the child in it and put it along, among the reeds, along the bank of the Nile. His sister stood at a distance to see what would happen to him. Then Pharaoh's daughter went down to the Nile to bathe. And her attendants were walking along the river bank. She saw the basket among the reeds and sent her slave girl to get it. She opened it and saw the baby. He was crying and she felt sorry for him. This is one of the Hebrews' babies, she said. Then his sister asked Pharaoh's daughter, Shall I go and get one of the Hebrew women to nurse the baby for you? Yes, go, she answered, and the girl went and got the baby's mother. Pharaoh's daughter said to her, take this baby and nurse him for me, and I will pay you. So the woman took the baby and nursed him. When the child grew older, she took him to Pharaoh's daughter, and he became her son. She named him Moses, saying, I drew him out of the water. May the Lord bless the reading of his word. Amen. God who never abandons you. The time and season we live and the challenges, situations, circumstances, issues we face Day to day, as a human being, even though we are born again, but the human being, many times we think, even, even we take time to ponder, said God has abandoned me. God has abandoned me. Why? I am always go through certain things. Yes, we have promises of God, Bible verses, plenty. We all memorized from Genesis to Revelation. We know Bible verses in the mind, in the heart, where God can come for. But being practical, there are situations we think, ah, what is happening in my life? If tonight, again, this morning you are here, this word is for you. Just want to know as a conclusion. God will never abandon you. Hallelujah. A God who say, a father or mother may forsake you, but I will never. Hallelujah. And we looked at on last Sunday, a God who decided to send his only begotten son, not to just him, but to die on the cross. If he can do how much? Hallelujah. So this morning, even the proof while we are here this morning, it is in spite of all the things we are going through.
going through even the cry of our heart this morning we are crying still we are alive here hallelujah that is a sign god has not abandoned us that is a sign so we looked at the three simple things on last sunday morning when we know when god has not abandoned you the first thing because when the situations may look very pathetic but god to prove i have not abandon you in that situation god will increase the glory of the people in authority in favor of you we looked at and i'm not going to detail into that we looked at god can put some people in places for you god to change your situation hallelujah and today being the last day of october 2021 just two months remaining for this year my prayer this morning is next two months may be a month of supernatural explosion in your life hallelujah why supernatural explosion may god what you have been struggling battling waiting upon the lord which you felt you have pressed you are crushed you are from four corners you are hard pressed as apostle paul's language but today i am as a man of god as a servant of god let me stand here and release expect a supernatural natural explosion into every areas of your life may the lord raise people for your greatness amen secondly we looked at we need to understand god's plan in every difficult situation whatever you go through you must understand god's plan I'll yeah god's plan god's plan for what you are going through thirdly we looked at god allows certain wise men on this world to make certain decision so that your breakthrough can come hallelujah hallelujah are you waiting for a breakthrough hallelujah and you have been cried the 21 you cried and prayed only breakthrough you saw it was a covid 19 but still you have been waiting as a man of god let me stand here and declare to you in the mighty name of jesus may, may the lord in his supernatural wisdom allow people to do certain decisions decision initially humanly we may think it is against but in god our supernatural wisdom it will turn in favor of you hallelujah now coming back to the scripture which we read the book of exodus we will continue few more things from there god who never abandoned you then we looked at we will come back after few weeks to again back to the exodus to connect where we left from the book of esther we know book of exodus um where we could see God's prophetic revelation concerning for the people of Israel begin to unfold hallelujah begin to unfold the first verses of the book of Exodus uh, when you read it to reach us take you back to almost 400 plus years uh, in the history of the israel in the cap- place in the land of egypt when or where exodus begins where genesis ends hallelujah there is a new beginning the book of exodus is giving to the people of god book of genesis brought the beginning including the establishment of the society community nation a people peculiar people whom god ordained for his eternal mandate called the generation of abrahamic children and called the people of israel and when god has brought that generation because so certain things took place within the people god said over 400 years you will be in the foreign land after that i will bring you back hallelujah 
I pro before even I start the word of God explanation, let me prophetically declare to everyone who is listening this morning my words as the book of Exodus is the end of beginnings, begins with the end of Genesis and the beginning of a new journey. Today as you listen my voice, whatever the Genesis work the beginning God has begun into your life, into your career, into your future, into your salvation, into your marriage. But there was a break. There was a break. What happened exactly in the book of Genesis? It was here for 400 years. But for us, we know, even I shared on last Sunday, for our God, a day is like a thousand years. He lives beyond the time and space. Maybe because certain issues happened in my life, maybe my mistakes, maybe our shortcomings, maybe the disobedience. As a result, we have to wait for here today on the 31st of October 2021. As a man of God, as a prophet of God, let me release. Expect the beginning of a new exodus in your life. Get ready to come out we are ready to come out tell your neighbor that chapter must finish today hallelujah that must finish because you have been holding on it has been Israel people of God you have stayed enough and the problem of staying in a new situation even though you are under slavery you complain but you are used to that that we could see when we read the book of Exodus you all preached many times you heard when they came out they complained they complained about the food they complained about the leadership they complained about the environment they complained about the safety they complained about the security they complained about the distance they are going to travel they complained about the provision we complained but while they are there still we want, when we come out we want to go back I pray and prophetically rebuke that spirits who make you to be comfortable which where you are which is not a plan of God's will for you today let be the beginning of Exodus in our life. Hallelujah. So as we look back in that time, Exodus chapter 1 gives the history. Then give the history of the people, a few family members who went, hallelujah, into the Egypt. And if we read it, we could see in chapter 1, and we could see they were, let's read chapter 1, verse 8 says, The new king who did not know about Joseph came to power in Egypt. Look, he said to his people, The Israelites have become much too numerous for us. Come, we must deal shortly with them or they will become even more numerous. And if war break out, will join our enemies, fight against us and leave the country. I just wanted one more prophetic declaration to declare upon house of congregation. Those who are listening to me. You see, when they came to the land, they went into a season of oppression. And the Bible said, the more they oppress, the more they increase. Hallelujah. Look at your another neighbor and tell him, my friend, you continue keep on oppressing me so that I may increase and become numerous. This is why I want you to understand. This is the principle only a child of God understands. And prophetically releasing to whoever it is you receive it and God will give you the victory. When God appoints you or put you in a place, it can be a house as a husband, wife, father, mother, children, brothers, or in an office, in the business, in the ministry, wherever God has placed you. Because God has placed you and you are facing an unprecedented 
Dentally, you, you can't even find a reason. Every form of oppression is coming. And you understand, in that oppression, the reason you are not perish, God has a purpose to increase you. Hallelujah. I pray in the name of Jesus because I want you to understand the people of God who came to Egypt according to God's plan to live there for few years, but the people who were there growing, the people thought if you oppressed them, they can finish them. Anyone who oppressed the purpose of God is become a fertilizer for that person to increase and grow beyond hallelujah beyond human imagination forget about just the word of god take the christianity in history just take the christianity in history wherever christianity has been tortured persecuted the blood of the saints were shed it grew rapidly all those who have studied the Bible college in the church history, you know, the church grew rapidly, first three and a half century in the world purely because of the severe persecution. Hallelujah. This is the sea. When you are a child of God, if you are oppressed, there is a grace of God released upon you. Hallelujah. I pray and release that grace from the throne of God at your home, at at your office, at your ministry, at your university, at your business. May the Lord give you that grace. As the devil oppress, you will increase. You will increase. You will multiply in the name of Jesus. As the time, chapter 2, came the time for the exodus. People who thought over 400 years of staying in a foreign land as a slave. They thought God has abandoned us. Hallelujah. This is big our lifestyle. This is become where we can settle down. That is what the people thought. But God who has promised, he has not forgotten. Hallelujah. God who has promised, he has not forgotten. Hallelujah. And that is why when you think God has abandoned you from the Exodus chapter 2, first thing, you as an individual need to know, we need to know God's purpose of your existence in this specific season. God's divine purpose of your existence in this specific season. Hallelujah. That's why the require in the famous book which we all read is why I am on this earth. Why I exist on this earth to this season is it have you ever calculated from someone born the time you begin to eat a shima until he died how many kgs of milli mil bag you finishes if you have not done do a research in the google you will be shocked you will be shocked if you reach an average 80 years old how many kgs of milli mil you will finish how many innocent chickens you have finished? How many sinless fish in different sizes you have made them to disappear? For only for this space. Very little place. It's a very big machine here. Very big machine. That's why some of you today, you are sitting here. You have not taken the breakfast. You are telling pastor, don't preach long sermon. I have to go back and have my breakfast. This machine can finish a lot of things. A lot of things. So, but God has a specific reason why God allows you to exist. Let's read chapter 2, Exodus, verse 1. 
chapter 2. Now a man of house of Levi married a Levite woman and she became pregnant and gave birth to a son. If you wanted to know who was that man and woman, you can go flip your pages of Exodus chapter 6 verse 20 which talks the name of the Moses parents, all the Sunday school teach all of us we know Imram and uh, Jochebed. Imram and Jochebed who as the Bible says a Levite family who decided to get married and bring forth a generation. Now, this is where we wanted you to understand. They decided to do certain action. Hallelujah. Decided to do certain decisions where things were not in favorable for them. Hallelujah. This is where if you are a child of God, if God has given you a vision, God has given you a dream, God has given you a mandate, don't wait for a favorable atmosphere. It will never come. Start by faith. Hallelujah. Step into by faith. Act by faith, move my faith, shake the ground by faith. When they see you, they may think you are a mad man or mad woman. Let them think you are mad or man or woman. But you know, I am a man or woman who carries the vision from God. I understood the divine specific purpose. God allow me to exist in this season. Even now, have you ever asked? We, all of us could have born a hundred years before. We would have never knew what Corona, COVID-19 is all about. But God allowed us to born into this pandemic season of COVID-19 and you have tasted, hallelujah, you have seen how good COVID-19 is. You have tasted, but today you can say, I am alive. It is not the vaccine. Of course, vaccine we take, if according to your conviction, if you take tape, it is not this mask. Hallelujah. I don't know how protective this. It is not the hand sanitizer. No, 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 no. It is, yes, of course, this we needed. God has given us the wisdom and understanding how to be hygienic. And but be above all that, what? Our pandemic comes, our uh, Morgan or Royanson or uh, Reverend Chiles uh, cannot leave this earth because there is a divine mandate for this season. I pray and prophetically declare it in the name of Jesus. Beloved house of prayer, you are existing in this season is not with your parents purpose it is not your institution's purpose it is a divine plan I pray God will reveal if you are a businessman a businesswoman may God reveal the divine purpose for this season if you are a student may the Lord reveal to you hallelujah he are coming when this couple decided to marry they had a lot of thoughts it, it is important before you do certain things, you sit with people and plan. But I let me tell a, a legal, professional, physical planning should not rule out the power of God. I want you to understand that say a legal, educational, professional physical intellectual planning should not rule out the power and the authority of the Holy Spirit. It must be vice versa. How it is supposed to be that when God has given you a vision God has given you know the purpose I exist on this season is this for Moses when it came to Exodus chapter 2 the reason they know hallelujah when the Exodus chapter 2 when it was writing when this Amram and Jochebed when they met as a young guy and young woman they decided they understood our existence and our connection, our relationship, our dating, our courtship, our marriage is different from other Hebrew couple. Why? We are get connected to 
carry and the bring forth the redeemer of the Israel from the land of slavery who signifies as a shadow of the Lord Jesus Christ a man like me hallelujah I pray may that revelation give to you today the reason why you exist if you are a husband and wife and a couple the reason why you existed and married with that man and woman is not just to bring forth a generation and establish a family so that the procreation of God's mandate will complete no 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 there is a special mandate hallelujah through your marriage through your generation through your family God wanted to affect positively the kingdom of God hallelujah so that you can be a mighty vessel in the kingdom of God I prophetically declare upon you if you are married may your family be a kingdom institution if you are a young man and young boy a single person may you be a mighty vessel in the kingdom of God if you are a, a widow widower may don't think God has abandoned you God has not abandoned you let me tell you this only God knows why he allowed you to be in that position he has a divine purpose he has a divine mandate you to be a widow or widower in this season and no one can handle that and the God will fully fulfill that purpose in this season in the name of Jesus hallelujah Jochebed and Emram when they met when the family agreed hallelujah they understood they're telling hey, Emram Jochebed this marriage in this season has another plan hallelujah I am this is my imagination when the mother got conceived when the little Moses that time even they had no idea the name Moses was coming but when that was in her womb she understood hallelujah the law is against us declaration and the verdict and the edict is against us from the king's palace but the giver of the life in my womb hallelujah tells me he shall live he shall live I declare upon you in the name of Jesus whatever negative edict and verdict and the declaration has done to you your personal life your marriage your generation your health your work your ministry hallelujah that's not to make a conclusion I, I my God will not help you let this Jacob and Yamram say the life in my womb shall live I declare you shall live your generation shall live and serve the Lord what God has given you shall live and you shall increase you shall multiply because that is the divine purpose God allow you to exist in this season hallelujah look at your another neighbor and say if you like it or not I shall live hallelujah you shall live so God no but let's let me connect to that scripture to one of the New Testament word no God's purpose of your existence in this season a second Timothy chapter 1 verse 9 for you to understand how God will fulfill you and I to accomplish his purpose. This is 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse who has saved us and has called us to a holy life not because of anything we have done. That's what is underlined. Not because of what we have done but because of his own purpose because of his own whose purpose God's own purpose then he added on purpose and grace this grace was given to us in Christ Jesus 
before the beginning of time. This is where we are connecting what I was sharing. My God lives beyond the time and space. Hallelujah. If it is Ryan's God's beginning before the creation of the world, if it was God's plan, Brother Luesha Oswald will come to certain years in this century join house of prayer. While Pastor Royanson is a pastor and he will take up the position of men's ministry chairman. I look at I see, ah, it is because of me. But the God says in the uh, second Timothy chapter 1 verse 9 says, before the beginning of time, his purpose and grace which is manifested in Christ brought to Oswald Luesha and his family to house of prayer for what? His purpose to be accomplished. I pray in the name of I just use brother and a example. I pray in the name of Jesus. Each one of you, you are seated here today. It is not, I always, it is not house of prayer is the best church. I am the worst preacher. My English is the worst English. I, I remember when I went to Nairobi to preach, even the people don't understand what I am saying. I am laughing myself. I make a joke and I laugh myself. Nobody is laughing because they don't understand. I say, ah, this English is very difficult. Hallelujah. It is not the reason why you are here. It is before the beginning of time. Before the beginning of time. If that is true, I am now I'm connecting to your personal life. If that is true, according to 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 9, it says, as the Christ Jesus before the beginning of time what you are going through what you are experiencing positive or negative prospering or destructive or breaking or restoring before the time begins my God knows and what did he say according to the first Timothy chapter 1 verse 9 he has given us power and the grace so that what you will do a purpose polished with his grace that grace will make you not crushed by the opposition you are facing against the purpose of God that created before the creation of the world hallelujah that's why apostle Paul said you were called before the creation of the world I pray hallelujah when God gave me that revelation I jumped you know what made me to jump when I am going through certain situations hallelujah I asked I shared with somebody I think uh, last week one of our church members. I asked a question. Over 35 years, my mom is on bed. She can't move around any part. She can't go and visit the children. I don't, I asked the Lord. I fasted. I prayed. Mom fasted. Mom prayed. But why? Then God gave me this revelation. My son, before even the time was begun, I knew what my daughter will go through. And there is a purpose which you may not understand. Now your mother may not understand. But you will understand at the end of the time when you meet me face to face but when you go through that I give you a grace I give you a grace that 35 years of sitting on a chair walking with walker sleeping on a bed cannot destroy the purpose of God because there is an adding of a grace there is a polishing of a grace. It is like a toasted bread. Early morning when you take it, one side you put a margarine, then another side you put a mixed fruit jam, then you put it together, then you put... Then you crack the taste of the uh, melted butter or margarine and the uh, mixed 
to with the mixed fruit jam with the crunchy oh bread slices when you chew it ah oh, you feel your body is energized you was hanging asleep over is gone everything is gone if that is true i declare it in the name of jesus the moment you understand the divine purpose of your existence in this season what i will tell you god will take you to your beyond time and existence god will tell you my son my daughter what you are going through i understand but what happens it is planned before the eternity but what i have done i have released a grace i release the grace that is why if you are sick don't give up god has not abandoned you he has released the grace of healing hallelujah you are married and your marriage is a rock you don't know how to take how to go on don't give up don't think god has abandoned you there is a grace there is a grace you are a single man and woman moved around everywhere you have looked at what's up facebook twitter instagram later gram why if there is a gram called instant and later i don't know a gram all the grams all Jesus everywhere looked for a spouse a man and boy you put even you will try to put a fake handsome cute profile picture so that the person can attract but still nothing is working still you are alone there is a god says in his purpose there is a grace there is a grace in that office in that company in that ministry you are going through difficult situation everybody is against you you can move whatever you speak is against ah uh, but in that same hold on hold on be according to first timothy chapter 1 verse 9 who has saved us and called us into his holy life not because of anything we have done but because of his own purpose and grace this grace was given in christ jesus before the time of existence today when they oppress you there is a grace i release that grace upon house of prayer congregation today really receive that grace receive that grace as you are financially struggling before everyone your colleagues your workmates even the people who studied with you they were very dull in the university they could not even finish they have reached very high places they have built mansions they are flying around the world here you are still working working when coming to church taking the handkerchief before you see the ushers put it in the pocket coming and sitting hallelujah you are struggling but my brother my sister my dad my mom don't give up there is a purpose above the purpose there is a grace there is a grace i release that grace upon us hallelujah i'm stopping we will pick it on next week hallelujah i want you to stand i want you to stand hallelujah what a grace you need today that is my question what grace do you need today you think god has abandoned you because of what you have gone through worship team you can come and take your position hallelujah adura rabala kad rabala rakad shaka krabala kad ruda dheera rajala adare raude dura ragala gash hallelujah ho oh. ruda baba baba rajala kad rakhala raude shaka krabala kad ruda rauda dheere ramant jokebed parents of moses they put themselves to their marriage union beyond the time and space hallelujah because they understood god's purpose for their existence in that season hallelujah if they had refused god could have used another cup but they could have missed the name in the history of revelation we carried we brought forth moses into this world hallelujah and i want you to understand when the aaron was born crisis was not there miriam was born crisis was not there crisis came when moses was about to born 
today hallelujah your brother your sister your dad your mom your uncle your auntie they are very well they are okay you are thinking why me because you have a specific mandate on this season hallelujah you have a specific mandate on this season but amraman jokebet understood looked to their purpose and so beyond the time and space i pray today as you close your eyes close your eyes can i take your challenges what you are going through i want you to bring out the challenges that crisis that issues in this season you are going through as you have brought out whatever it is connect that to the eternity the eternal plan of god hallelujah hallelujah and as the lord hallelujah here am i I am in this institution I am in this church I am in this family I am in this territory I am in this business I am in this university I am in this college here is my spouse here is my children my parents another my sister my friend my society my nation this is what I am going through my lord take me show me things beyond the time and space through Christ Jesus and give me that grace raka ba 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 ra jala la la ruda ga ba ra ga da ruda ba ra ga da ra ka ba ra jala ga da ga oh give me that grace today the lord is releasing that grace what you have been struggling what made you to think god has abandoned you i want you to go and receive that grace at your level hallelujah Sunday or even Wednesday when you come back you have a testimony you have a testimony hallelujah you have a testimony hallelujah adu de rabara gada ruda bara jalagas alkaba oh hallelujah this a testimony hallelujah thank you jesus god is reminding me to when someone here there are two people here oh two of you last week you said i'm giving up i am giving up i don't think things will work hallelujah it is over it is over today the word says my brother my sister look at what jesus has done for you before the time and space came before the beginning of time along with that crisis that season there is a grace and i and don't i am hearing again tell my people today i am releasing that grace receive it especially these two of you receive it when you reach home today you will find a change of grace you receive it here but the grace has gone ahead of you because it is through the holy spirit grace has released to your territory hallelujah adura varaga da rabbala rauda dira jalagas and god also saying there are some people here is going to testify concerning god's elevation in your workplace there's a grace you have been oppressed you have been sh- hard press things are be not okay but there is an elevation coming in the midst of that oppression there's a grace and the lord says tell my people in the month of november and december before the time begins it was planned in god's purpose through christ jesus the grace of elevation will be released upon you It is not my plan Royson's plan it is the plan of Jesus Hallelujah thank you Holy Spirit Father I pray I pray for your people oh God Yes Lord help your people to understand the purpose of their existence in this season so that when the crisis are so hard critical we will not think God has abandoned us. Brother, we know we are putting God's eternal plan. Father bless us, oh God. 
In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen and amen. As you stand, we'll take the tithe and offering. Ashers, please. Ashers, please help the tithe and offering. Thank you, church. You may be seated. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for your sacrificial and the faithful giving. May the Lord bless you. Ashers, please come. Hallelujah. You have been a great blessing. House of Prayer Congregation, you are a wonderful givers, a cheerful and a sacrificial giver. As the ashers comes, let me pray. Father, I thank you for their people. I declare a thousandfold return to your people as they are giving the tithe and offering, a first fruit of thanksgiving offering. Anyone does not have today, O oh God, this is the last day they are going to have a supernatural miracle, O oh God. And every single coin will be used for your expansion of the kingdom. And O oh Jesus, my prayer, as they give, they will never have a lack in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, church, for your faithful giving. May the Lord bless you and to return to you thousandfold. Amen. Thank you. As remember, Wednesday we have a miracle night service. Don't forget. May the Lord let's encourage each one. Let's come together. Truly, we will. We are here. 7:30, 7:19:30, uh, 1940. We are out of the place. May God bless you. May the Lord bless you. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And let's come and encourage somebody. Please make sure those who have not been in the church for some time, make sure you will just pick up a call, visit them, encourage them. May God bless you. Thank you so much. Hallelujah. Let's stand very quickly as you are dropping the offering. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. moment the ashes from the building committee they will take an offering if you are visiting you may be wondering why there's another offering this offering solely go for the construction of the sanctuary we don't force anyone if God has given something just to drop it then close your eyes thank you church for your sacrificial support all of you except small children I encourage you please before you leave climb the staircase to the office upstairs we could see the tiles have completely finished. Can we put our hands together and appreciate you, God? It's only for through your support. Please. I don't want you have been in house of prayer. You don't know where the offices are. Please make sure this door, there's a staircase. Go up and see what is happening so that you will appreciate. It's all through your sacrificial giving. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you. Thank you for your selfless sacrificial dedication and the support to finish this sanctuary as you have given may the lord bless you you will not lack god is building your homes your generations your jobs your businesses your career everything god will bless you hallelujah let's close our eyes thank you jesus thank you holy spirit thank you father lord we give you glory thank you holy spirit we want to say thank you lord Thank you, Lord, for again reminding us you have never abandoned us. You are still with us. And, O oh God, allowing us to understand 
the divine purpose of our existence particularly in this season many time oh god when the challenges comes we are we fail to see with our spiritual eyes beyond this time and space but thank you lord for talking to us this morning you have planned everything your purpose along with grace before the beginning of time in Christ Jesus so this morning as we are here oh god the people have re received the word anyone here they came here and listened to the preaching but they don't have christ into their life today oh god may the may you open their hearts may you receive jesus may you receive jesus god's purpose in your life in this season can fulfill only if christ is in you and if you have given your life to jesus i pray if you step into the sanctuary without christ may you walk with christ you will open your hearts and say jesus i surrender my life to you i am a sinner i need you from today i am your son your daughter wash me with your blood you died for me on the cross through you i can have eternal life write my name in the book of life thank you jesus connect me to the abrahamic blessing through jesus christ thank you lord father as your people go may you go with the mocha may the grace that you will supplement them to see the purpose of god in this season is accomplished in the midst of unparable opposition and situation may it them have that grace in abound thank you lord father thank you for the giving of your people tight offering seed thanksgiving offering giving for the construction of the sanctuary bless them oh god throughout this week let them be protected by the blood of jesus no accident no premature death no calamity no affliction no sorrow will come to them they are secured under the wings of jesus covered and protected by the ministering angel if it is your will on wednesday 1815 we will come to glorify god now may the grace of our lord jesus christ and the love of god and the fellowship of the holy spirit be with us now and forever amen and amen and amen may the lord bless you richly see you on wednesday 1815 youths are remaining may the lord bless you. enjoy the final song